What up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And what you might be saying to yourself is, what? Baby metal versus love bites? What the fuck is he thinking? He's thinking he wants people to have fun. You know, I think it's fun. And uh, it gets a conversation going. Which band is the better band? Now, the reason I put them together is because they're both, I believe, Japan, Japanese. Um, they're both similar. They're both metal. They're both all women. They're both heavy. They're both technical. They both have double petal. So I said, let's have motherfucking fun and get everyone mad at me. And compare Love Bites versus Baby Metal. And both live videos and both 2018. Now the songs, I don't know what they are. I don't know if one of them might be heavy and the other one might be slow. Who knows? We're just winging it. So we're going to do Baby Metal versus Love Bites. And the Love Bites song is called Shadow Maker. And the Baby Metal song is called Karate. Now, if you like this, you like these verses... And then at the end, I'm going to tell you what the fuck one I think is better. And you can leave in the comments which one you think you think is better. Now, this doesn't mean the band is better. It just means this song might be better. Who knows? Uh, maybe I'll figure out how to put a poll in the description. Who's going to get madder at me? The Love Bites fans or the Baby Metal fans? Or are they both fans of both bands? That's possible too. But I'm going to pick one song that I think is better. All right, here we go. Get ready, Shadow Maker by Love Bites. I hope you, I hope Love Bites brought their uh, a game today. I hope. Here we go. Wait. Oh, also subscribe and all that shit. Hit the like button and listen to my podcast if you like my personality. I got a podcast on this channel. You can find all that shit in the description. Come on, Love Bites. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, all right, guys. I paused that at the worst time. I just have to say that so far it is going to be very, 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 very difficult for Baby Metal to beat this already off of the bat because that shit was good. I will say that it sounds fucking amazing. They sound tight. They sound mm, on point. But this is going to get me hate. I love her voice. I think she's cool as hell, and I love her as a vocalist. But I think I would like the band even more if I liked the way the vocals sounded more. I'm not saying she's a bad vocalist. I'm just saying... I prefer a more different sound. Maybe a more screamy. Not screamy like this new shit where every band screams. But, you know, kind of like an M Shadows type thing. Or a Lamb of God, which he screams, screams. And uh, also, yeah, besides that, I love it. I love it. It's like, who do you like better? Dave Mustaine or James Hetfield? You know, it's just a preference. Tom Araya or James Hetfield? Who do you like better? It's a preference. Now, don't go crazy in the comments, guys. I'm just, you know, I'm a human. I'm allowed to have an opinion. Right. 
I guess what I kind of mean is I'm not really into that, like, power metal type vocal. I'm, so, you know, except Painkiller, I love that song because it's just fucking fierce. And Judas Priest kind of, like, dabbled in pa power metal and regular metal. And, you know, they dabbled in different genres. Just letting you guys know, this is not what you think it is. This is a Dutch. Oh, I love that part. I love that that one part where it's like I can't imitate it with my voice, but they are on fire. The fucking drummer is like a machine. How is she not dying? She is literally a machine. That is crazy. Crazy. Ooh. Give me that face. Oh man, here we go. God damn! Oh, bro, when they went like from in between the solo to that shit is so sick. That riff is like it sounds like a Lamb of God riff. Which, come on, bro, we got the I can't bend my arm like that. I'm not a contortionist, but Lamb of fucking God, bro, right on my arm. So if I'm saying they got a Lamb of God type riff, that's a compliment. I love that drummer. Ooh, harmonizing. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Hold on. I'm so confused of who's playing that riff at that part. Let me maybe this girl. I'm, I can't tell who's playing it. Cuz that girl's still playing the solo. Oh, 
Oh, All right, it's her. All right, it was her. I kept focusing on the other girl. I was like, are these motherfucking girls lip sync playing? <laughs> lip sync, dr guitar syncing. But they're not. It was the one girl. That's solo. I got to comment on it. I know you guys are getting in the way with me pausing. But geez, Louise, that solo was sick. And solos sometimes bore me because it's just, you know, Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo, who gives a fuck? But their shit was crazy. Like every note was thought out. It wasn't just let me mess around on the fretboard and whatever comes out, that's the solo. No, nah, their shit was mapped out. God damn, Baby Metal, I hope you brought a good song. That high note. Bro, they won. Sorry, baby metal. Sorry. Oh my lord. That's crazy. Thank you. Whew. All right, well that's the end of the video. Day one. Day one. All right guys, have a good day. I appreciate you guys coming. Please hit the like, share, comment, and uh, subscribe. I mean, that was awesome. I, there, we don't have to watch the next video. We just, we just don't. I'm just fucking around. But I was seriously going to do that. I was like, I should do that. It would be funny as hell. But I was like, nah, let me not be a dick. Plus, I do want to see this baby metal. Plus, it'll probably, more hate will be brought upon me this At way. AT&T, we've been doing Don't ask me why I want hate, but uh, I think it's funny. I, I think it's funny if people actually get mad about this. <laughs> Why did you do that? You can't compare. Blah, 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 blah. I can't wait for the asshole comments I'm going to get. Especially when I pick who I like better. This doesn't mean I like the band better. It just means I like this particular song and this particular concert better. Okay? Now yeah, let's hear it. This is Baby Metal Karate. I hope you guys are ready to get mad at me. Wow. Baby Metal might pull a trick out of their sleeve with the uh, the costumes and all, and the stage. I don't know. We'll see. Will it work? Will they trick me? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I picked a good contender, bruh. We got like a thrash metal song and a groovy like fucking Pantera type groovy vibe. Ah, this ain't gonna be easy, man, because they're kind of different. This is more groovy. The other one's more. 
How the fuck am I going to pick? Ugh. Guys, if you're fans of either of these bands, if you really like the opposite band's song better, don't be a chump. Don't be a bitch. Say it. Say I like I like Love Bites, but I think that baby metal song's better. Or vice versa. Do that. Do that. Because you can like another song by a band that ain't yours. I think Avenged Sevenfold's latest album is better than Metallica's 72 Seasons, but I still love Metallica with all my heart. I love both the albums. I just like, I mean, Life is But a Dream, but Avenged Sevenfold is, I love that album. That's like one of my favorite albums ever, and it just came out. This is not going to be fucking easy. And I know how I'm going to get people mad in the comments because I do like this song a lot. But I also like the other song a lot. And the other song is more deep cut. This is more like a radio song, definitely. But it's still metal as fuck. It's just more, you know, radio friendly. And it's banging, though, because that chorus... Goes, and then it's fucking hot. But... I also think Love Bites probably has better lyrics, but I didn't hear enough of this yet. I don't know. This is going to be the hardest decision of my life. I thought Love, I thought Love Bites might uh, sweep the com competition, but Baby Metal might win by diversity and being a little odd and different. So I don't know. I don't know. I cannot tell you. And I like, I like them because they sound tight, like a punch, but I like, they also sound a little too tight. Like, it almost sounds like, not saying this is true at all, but it sounds more polished and studio-like, but Love Bites sounded more live and real. Like, every instrument you could hear, you could feel the liveness. Now, I'm not saying this doesn't feel live, I'm just saying this feels super tight, like, Maybe something was done to make it sound so tight. I don't know. Maybe something's playing in the background. They're playing along with I don't fucking know. Or maybe they're just tight as hell. Yeah, I just, I cannot help but think that this is not really recorded live. Because they're like jumping around and going like this with the bass and you just don't hear no weirdness. It's perfect. And I don't, if I'm wrong, then I'm an idiot. But if I'm not, that's killing me. I hope they're really playing live. It sounds a little too perfect. Like, I don't hear nothing... I don't hear a slide from a guitar fret, like when you slide your finger on it. I don't hear nothing. It is polished to a titty. 
See, so I hope they're really performing. Even if they're not performing and it's like pre-recorded or something, it's still hot, it's still banging, it still sounds good as shit. But you know, that's a point taken away for sure. And then correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Didn't Baby Metal used to like play instruments? Now it's like they got like guys that aren't really in the band. Kind of like how Green Day has like six people, but people only know Green Day as the three guys. Um, I think Cold Chamber does that too now. They have like a guitar player in the background. So what happened? I thought Baby Metal, the whole band, played their own music. Or they just have like people that come on stage with them now and they just perform like you know sing or do they still do that too let me know banging it is epic but i there's no way everything in that is live so that is definitely taking a point away from it and it kind of is ruining it for me but i'm trying to but on the other hand it is really fucking good the performance is good it's epic the way she's up there you know like a queen and uh everything's on point and it sounds amazing but i know it's not live but also it's still very good so, I mean, they're performing. At least they're not lip-syncing and not doing nothing. There is definitely some real live singing and live elements, but a lot of it is added or, you know, fake, playing in the background or something, whatever they did in the mixing room. Why is it black? It's not my video. The video went black. So we'll just listen from here on out, I guess. That's bad. Here we go. Visuals. Uh oh. All right. Decision time. Down. Everybody in the comments is going to fucking hate my hair. Well, actually, half of the comments will like me and the other half will hate me. I still didn't even make my decision because it's fucking hard. I think I made it, though. All right, guys. Keep in mind, I love both bands. Both bands are awesome and unique and have something totally different about them. And they're both cool as shit, and I respect them both. And they're both very talented. But due to Baby Metal not really playing live, at least in that performance... That took a big point away for me in my book. Because you're a metal band. I could see rappers using shit in the background and all. 
I don't even mind you using shit. I don't mind. I, you can use all the digital stuff at it all day long. But you gotta really play your instruments. And I don't think they were really playing them guitars. I didn't hear shit. I didn't hear no... Nothing is played perfectly when you're moving and headbanging and playing. You would hear a bump or something. You would hear something. A finger slide across a, a string. Something. So that killed... That really hurt it for me. Um, but it was really good too. Visually, it was awesome. It had a epicness to it. I was gonna say it had an amazing sound, but that I can't talk. I can't really talk about the sound because it was a CD. Um, but Love Bites was definitely live. You heard the human body playing a guitar when it's head banging. Uh, and that really added a lot for me. So I think, and technically, Love Bites was crazy technical. The solo was unbelievable. And just, you know, the drummer was unbelievable. And so was Baby Metal. They were tight. It was just a more tight song. It wasn't like a fast song. It was a, a rhythm song, a fucking bop your head song. And the Baby Metal was like, yeah. I mean, the um, Love Bites one was more like, yeah, yeah. And the Baby Metal was more like sad but true vibes. We got Whiplash with a uh, fucking Love Bites. And then Sad But True with Baby Metal. But guys, I think you guys know who I choose on this particular song. And I'm going to say Love Bites. Sorry if that gets everyone mad. I'm a human and I have an opinion. It wasn't an easy choice. They didn't crush baby metal. But they won. And if you like these versus videos, let me know and I will make more. Okay? Until then, have a good day. I love you guys. Take it easy and remember to be weird and be fun and have fun. And be, f be free. Peace. We out. Love Bites. Baby Metal, I still love you.